Hi, press the pause button if you need longer to read the following screens and the play button to continue. In IELTS Academic Task 1 Writing, you are asked to write about either graphs, tables or diagrams, maps, flowcharts, etc. This special series will focus on tables and diagrams. We will begin by briefly noting the important features of the diagram on the right and the task requirements. In the second and third parts, two model task responses will be provided. This is the task. It is important to do as the task requires when writing about the diagram. The diagram shows how sewage is processed and treated. You must summarise the information by selecting the main features of the diagram and make comparisons where relevant. The response must not be less than 150 words. The important thing to note is that the treated sewage is disposed of in two ways. Water goes to the ocean and solids are sent to off-site disposal. It is also relevant to observe that water is only transferred at one stage of the process. While solids are released for off-site disposal at three separate stages and in different forms. The flow diagram represents how sewage is safely treated so that solids are disposed of on land and liquid can be released into the sea. First of all, sewage is fed through a filter which allows large solids to be separated off. These solids are diverted to a special disposal site. The filtered sewage then goes through four further processes before its dispersal into the oceans. Grit removal is the next process which allows the extraction of sand and gravel. After that, chemicals are added to the sewage in a mixing chamber and then passed into another tank, known as a water separator, which allows remaining solids and water to be separated out. These remaining solids in the form of sludge undergo water removal and are once more sent for off-site disposal. Finally, the water that emerges is treated with antibacterial agents and allowed to run off into the ocean. The diagram describes the processes and stages for the treatment and disposal of sewage. It shows that sewage is disposed of in two ways, as solid waste to an off-site location and as treated water released into the open ocean. Solid waste is removed for disposal at three distinct stages in the treatment process. The first is when large solids are extracted after filtering at the start and the second occurs when sand and gravel are taken out during the next process, grit removal. Any remaining solids in the water then go through two further processes, the mixing chamber and the water separator, before being released as dewatered sludge for off-site disposal in the final part of the treatment. Unlike solids, which are released at three different stages, water is only released at one point in the process. After leaving the water separator where it is separated from waste sludge, the water then undergoes an antibacteria treatment before being released into the open ocean. That concludes the tutorial. If you want more help with your IELTS, go to 
www.myenglishexam.com